Hello and welcome back once again for our Bradby first leg review and the second leg preview. It's going to be a very interesting discussion with Shehan Patrian on my right and Murad Ramsin on my left, captains of their respective schools in 2011. They faced off before the first leg and the last word was had by Lema who said, Machang, no need of hakas. And Murad said, we'll beat you without it. Well, they couldn't. So we'll start first uh, with Murad and we had a one point margin, Murad, but going into the first leg, Trinity would have taken one point, wouldn't they? Uh, well, yes, but again, as I said that day, you know, our guys didn't play to their potential. Had a lot of opportunities to call, uh, win the first leg. We had a lot of opportunities just to win the first leg. I'm not saying it would have been a good base for the second leg, but uh, yeah, playing. Let's see, let's see. I have nothing much to say this this day. Uh, not playing to their potential is something that people said about the Royal performance as well, uh, Lema. So what do you think about that? Of course, uh, I think uh, actually we didn't uh, even uh, we didn't even come close to the performance that we had uh, in the previous games. Uh, especially the pack, uh, we were miserably failing in the lineouts. Uh, even though we dominated the scrums, I think uh, we lost uh, one five-meter lineout, which we could have definitely scored, and uh, a few other lineouts where they intercepted the ball and they scored. So I think uh, if we manage to play to our potential in the second leg, I think uh, we will definitely win a good, good margin. We've talked about uh, X-Factor players that Trinity seem to have while Royal have a more complete team. And two of those guys came to the party. They had uh, Boya Goda and then Saranga Gunitilaka who both scored tries. Rahul uh, Karunathilaka with a superb run. And uh, do you think that that really, with that f early try that Boya Goda scored, that upped the momentum of the uh, Trinitians? Yes, of course, that really, it was an unexpected try where Trinity, you know, was boosted on their, you know, momentum, as you said. So, yes, that, but then again, I don't think the whole team depended on that, or rather those three players, whereas, as I said, it's a whole set of players with the team, full team, along with the management. But tell me honestly, Murad, when Royal started out, you thought this is going to be a long afternoon, right? Uh, well, yes, the way they dominated, especially the first scrum, starting with the first scrum, yes, it was. But then again, you know, our guys reacted well for the time being, yes, we have also been good. I'm not saying that we were worse. So if we play to our potential, the result, results would have been something else. Gail Jasinghe her was playing really well up till the time he dropped the ball under the post and after that the whole team seemed to take a step back. Uh, Lema, did you talk about that uh, after the match? Uh, actually, I couldn't uh, meet them in person or the management, but I think uh, it was really a bad uh, bad moment for Royal at the match because I think uh, that really put us in the back step. So I think uh, I think as a key player in the team, he need to uh, he need to be more reliable and uh, need to he actually need to take the offense and the defense uh, under control him and. I think uh, it's not acceptable to make uh, uh, that kind of mistakes. But uh, Banuka Gamage, who's a skipper, he came to the came into uh, came to the party after that. He scored a brilliant try and got his team back on track. Uh, would you, would you, as a former captain, would you be happy with that sort of performance from his team? Oh, of course, Anag. I think he he actually played really well that day. I think after Gayal making mistakes and uh, Supun, every uh, all the key players uh, that we thought would play to their potential. They were, they were not failing, but they couldn't uh, like you know get something extra for the team. But uh, Banuka, as a captain, he came there and he did what he should do, and uh, he put us in the uh, front step. So I think that's a good performance from Banuka. And what about uh, the same from uh, Rangala uh, Murad? He had a superb game in defence, but uh, you think there can be a little bit more of those forwards in offence? Exactly, yes. But then again, scrums comes into play where we lost almost every scrum. So I think we are. Rangala, Isur Rangala is concerned, he was the number 8 and every number 8 would start the game by you know, winning the scrum so that made him take a, step, make a, take a step back so if we do work on scrums I think he might be more exposed to the game with a positive uh, side of it. Murad, you're a front row forward yourself so seeing what Royal did to the Trinity scrum on uh, last Saturday, do you think that's something that can be fixed in two weeks time? Exactly, yes, there is. Way. There, are, there, there are ways to fix those. You're obviously not going to tell us what they are. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Lema being a back row forward, you probably don't care what goes on in the front row. But how much did the dominance of the Royal Scrum matter in, uh, in winning the game? 
I think uh, that was a really good turning point in the game because we, from the first come, like Murad said, we started dominating. But uh, I think that gave good ball to our uh, back four, uh, sorry, uh, the back line to uh, work it around the ground and uh, make some good plays. I think it was a dominant performance from from the pack. Uh, if you talk about uh, scrums. In the game. But none of them actually scored tries. We expected Supun to score a try. He went over and was held up. And we expected guys like Gunadira to, to get in there and in amongst the uh, Trinity forwards. So do you think that this is a, a, a below par performance from the Royal Pack? Uh, I think it's like this. Uh, Trinity were well prepared uh, in terms of defence. Uh, uh, they knew that our forwards are very dominating and they're big. So I think they use gang tackles and uh, all sort of these techniques that they use in, uh, in defence to uh, shut them down. I think it really worked. So I hope uh, the management and uh, I will also be involved uh, in this uh, coming uh, week training. So I think we'll work on that and we'll come up with a good performance, uh, not individually but as a team uh, from the pack and the line booth. Defensive performance was the key to winning this game, uh, Murad, and uh, there were two key lapses. One at the start of the, of the second half when that kick went into no man's land and, and uh, the uh, Royal Winger scored. And of course that massive gap that opened up for Banuka Gamage to score under the posts. So if not for those two lapses, you, you may have even won this game comfortably. So where do you start fixing that? Was that just something that people lost concentration or is it something that you need to focus on in training? Yeah, exactly. We should, I think, they should focus on attacking the defence. They were defending, but they were not attacking the defence. And Trinity, it's time for us to attack the defence. You're sitting there and looking quite chilled out, uh, Murad. You know, you 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 have this strange sense of uh, confidence about you. The same thing happened to you with this man over here in 2011. You all conceded a defeat when you all were the favourites in the first leg. Came back and absolutely smashed the second leg. Is there something like that on the cards? Can happen. It can happen. Can happen. Go on. Give your team a bit more of a boost on that one. So, well, Almighty has already given us the second chance to win the Bradby. Let's see how it goes. Rema, going in with one point, is that better than going in with no points or maybe even a draw or one point uh, behind? Is it harder to defend a one point lead? I think uh, Roy should actually forget the one point lead and uh, start uh, playing from the beginning because actually one point would not give anything. As Murad said, he's not confident enough, so uh, I think uh, we are in the <laughs> front foot here. Yeah, well, it's going to be a very interesting match, that's for sure. 23 points to 22, just a one point in it, and as Lema said, that doesn't mean anything at all. But if Royals score again, if they score first at the start of this game, do you think that's one step too far? Not really. It's an 80-minute game. So we still have, because we, as I say all, always, you know, it's always... It might be late, but it's not too late because that's what our coach, all, 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 you know, he was like muttering it all the time when it came to second leg when in Aya. And what's the mood in the camp, uh, Murad? Have you spoken to any of the boys or anybody uh, in and about the team? Yes, uh, to be honest, you can't say what will happen. You know, I spoke to the captain, and uh, everyone will show definitely the confidence. But uh, then again, it's up to them on that particular day, as I said before, to click on on the day and then play. Okay, let's see how it goes. So, uh, Lema, confident that you're going to pull this one off? Of course, sir. Uh, I think this is the year, like I said in the previous interview also, I think we'll put up a good performance in Colombo and we'll definitely beat uh, Trinity and win the Bradby this year. And how many points are you going to win it by? Uh, let's uh, say uh, we'll, win, uh, we'll win by 15-point uh, margin. 15-point margin, what do you think? Uh, it's not that it's not going to be that easy. I would say I would just like to say to all Trinitians, look to the end, consider the outcome, respect F N M. Well, there you have it, another completely diplomatic answer by Murad Ramzi, not playing his cards, not showing anything to the opposition. Let's see what happens on the day, 23rd of May is when uh, the match happens at the Royal College Sports Complex here in Colombo. Lots of Trinity is going to be travelling down and they've got this quiet look of confidence just like Murad has over here. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a cracking game, that's for sure. Thanks gentlemen for joining us. Good luck to both your schools.